President Uhuru Kenyatta's order lifting the dawn to dusk curfew threw Kenyans into a state of confusion over the fate of entertainment joints after a tweet by the National Police Service stated that the 7 p.m. closure hours remained. Health Cabinet Secretary Mutahi Kagwe sought to clarify. We are reverting to closure of bars and restaurants at 11 p.m or the time allowed by the licensing authorities. The extension of the operating hours, however, came with terms and conditions, hand washing, sanitization points, and strict adherence to the 1.5 meter social distance was a must. Counter governments and enforcement agencies to ensure that the licensed facilities abide very strictly by their licensing conditions while county public health officers ensure that sanitary and other health conditions are met at all times. The fate of night travel, particularly for long-distance vehicles, still in abeyance as the health minister revealed that the transport ministry was reviewing the matter and would issue a statement in due course. With the country still registering new infections, 67 new cases reported in the last 24 hours, Kagwe warned Kenyans against dropping their guard, instead sustaining the government's call on all eligible Kenyans to avail themselves for vaccination. Its aim is to have at least 10 million of the population vaccinated by December this year and an additional 17 million by the end of 2022. Already, 4.73 million Kenyans have been vaccinated. Out of these, 3.41 million have gotten their first dose, while 1.32 million have been fully vaccinated. Ministry statistics showing that for the second week running, Nairobi maintained the top spot with 15.4% of its population vaccinated, followed by Nyeri with 12.7%. Kiambu, Wasengishu, Nyandarwa, Kisumu, Mombasa, tied at a better, like Kipia and Embu, recording between 7.6% and 5.1%. The pastoralist counties including Lamu, West Pokot, Tana River, Mandera, Wajir, Garesa and Marsabit, registering below 1% of the vaccinated population, the health ministry revealing that it was changing strategy for the counties. A drought situation, again, this is a big opportunity because when the Ministry of Asal is distributing food with the World Food Program, Red Cross, AMREF, again, that is a big opportunity for us to be able to plug in and use that as a, a latitude to also be able to offer the vaccines. Each county government must structure the way that they are going to vaccinate their people in accordance with how the people in the placing and the population dynamics of those counties. With vaccine apartheid having left Kenya and many other African countries vulnerable to vaccine shortages, Kago revealed that plans to set up Kenya Biovax facility for repackaging vaccines was underway. Given the experience we have had in the last one year and the danger of dependency on other countries for vaccines, it's pretty obvious that uh, this, is some, this is an investment that, sh that should have been made a long time ago. In the last 24 hours, five deaths were recorded, albeit all being late deaths. While the lifting of the curfew is expected to increase economic activity and facilitate growth for struggling businesses, personal responsibility will be key in containing the possible spread of the coronavirus. Chamutai Goen Citizen TV, Afia House, Nairobi.